everyone. This is Fillmore V12 interface, let's have a look. This is Instant Tools Bar and here 6 tools are listed in this version. And this is the Cloud Project Space, we can upload and save current project and use it for mobile version 2. And this is the Creator Hub, all the tutorial by Wondershare is available here. Let's go inside. Wondershare make major upgrade in Fillmore V12, let's have a look. Layout Mood. Click at this icon and you will see 6 different layout designs for make video editing more comfortable and easier. This is default layout. This is organized layout design. It gives room to preview all thumbnails. This layout design is more helpful when you are using Style tab or effects. And this is the project info panel. This shows resolution, project name, frame rate. Third layout, for editing, it gives more space to timeline to see all cuts and layers. Fourth layout creating or editing shorts, reels or TikTok videos, best for vertical video editing. And this one is classic and this layout for if you are using dual monitor, the time this will enable. Keyboard shortcuts. Second upgrade his keyboard shortcuts, click at this icon and click keyboard shortcuts. There are all the keyboard shortcuts are listed and added separate folder so we can learn it and use to make editing experience more professional and faster. If you are Premiere Pro user, you can switch it to Premiere Pro and same with other included software. Basically, this is for helping to creator in editing. Fillmore next upgrade is video editing and effects properties are at tab. When you add video in timeline and click at it. This panel shows us how many creative things we can do with this video clip. This fresh looking inviting you enjoy your editing and create something interesting. You can transform. Improve composition, add drop shadow and also enable and disable to all function. And the most important upgrade is adding keyframe with each and every effects. It allows to enhance your creativity with these little pins. Use is the same as used to do in Filmora 10 or V11. But this time animation keyframe with all the effects to add custom animation. This is more advanced and professional and also possibilities are more in V12 than previous V11 or Filmora X first you have to enable it and now you have complete control playing with X position and Y position. If you click at lock icon then values will be same. You can add rotation value let's play it. Also, we know reset icon which is will be where you see keyframe pins to undo or reset properties. And also, when we disable it. All keys effect will disable. They will not work in disable mood.
Also, there are four flip options faces will be very useful in editing. Click a drop shadow tab. Drop shadow will be very useful when if you want to create slideshows or want to add 2D or 3D depth to any subject or object. You can add distance, add blur or opacity. Let's go towards color tab. Also this color tab will give you complete control working with color grading. On the top you will get presets which is always very helpful in just one click. Expand tab here we get numbers of preset which is available for us. Below tab, we have all color grading sliders. With help of it you can add your own look and also can save as presets. Let's add vignette. This slider also has keyframe to add animated vignette look. See how all the value are changing during this movement. Love it. I am disabled it now. Next big upgrade is Draw Mask Pen tool for creating custom freehand mask. Let's draw a mask to our subject. Select Pen tool start drawing. Just click forward around shape and join starting to end point. This draw mask feature also has keyframe functionality to animation mask as well. Also, can save custom mask. Next gaming upgrade is AI tools. In this panel you will get powerful tools with the help of them you can working with green screen. AI portrait which is also available in V11 but this time smart cutout is included to make this software more powerful to other. Let's test it out, first enable it. 
and then click its Smart Cutout shape. This is Smart Cutout window and here are two tabs first Simple Mood by default and second Advanced Mood. I am using Simple Mood, Brush is by default enable you just start brush around you subject and this will cover the whole area now just click its Smart Cutout shape here and that's it. Let it process, it will keep select subject and remove background. Now you can add any background, because background I'd transparent now. Next big addition in this software which is adjustment layer like Premiere Pro, I used to missing it when we are adding many effects. This work with the same as adjustment layer work in Premiere Pro. Let's add it in timeline. Direct click is wrong way of use it. Right click add and click add to new track let's drop many effects at adjustment layer. This is the effect tab here you will see what effect you added at adjustment layer. You noticed effect also can be animate here because keyframe are also available. You can see every effect can animate in film or V12 custom keyframing with every feature tool which is big upgrade. If you want to save adjustment layer and added effect to reuse. At layer tab down below, you have saved as custom button to save it. Click at save as, it will add at adjustment layer tab custom folder. Let's delete it and try that. Final upgrade in audio section which is audio stretch and also keyframe you will able to use it here. Drag and drop any music and click at this little icon which is here. Now you have to drag music length according to you duration of this video and its AI functionality give you a perfect result. See the fade out perfectly and let's work with audio keyframing. Here also you have a freedom to add keys to make music lower or higher as we are able to add in Premiere Pro, After Effect. If you want to delete all the keyframe, right click at music track and click at delete effect. Also, you can add speed ramping to audio track. Let's try speed ramping preset this will create lower or higher audio. Also, you can make changes in layout, make thumbnail, small or large. You can drag one panel to make room smaller or bigger and also can move preview window anywhere independently. And here is a histogram window, it also can move anywhere around preview window, this will be great useful when color grading. So, this is it for now, you can try film or V12, see you in our next video and if you like please thumbs and subscribe and if you have any question.
Comment down below till then bye thank you.